For this pencast, we will be finding the indices of some challenging planes. So we will be looking for sets of numbers which will define the locations and orientations of these planes within their respective cubic unit cells. Now we're going to have to take a slightly different approach when solving for this top plane. As you can see, no matter which cube corner we pick to be our origin, the plane will not have x prime, y prime, and z prime intercepts. But with a simple trick, we can still solve this plane. As you may recall, if a plane is translated, or moved up, down, left, or right within the cubic unit cell, its indices will remain the same. Now what this means for us is that we can move the plane around and still achieve the same answer. In order to make this plane solvable, I will be moving the plane down one half a unit in the negative z direction. So I'm going to take all the corners of the plane and move them down one half a unit and then redraw the plane at the end. So I'll take the corner that's on the z axis at 0, 0, 1, and I'll move it down one half a unit right here to 0, 0, 1 half. Then I will take this front corner of the plane at 1, 0, 1 half, and I'll move that down to the x axis at 1, 0, 0. And then I will take this back corner of the plane here at 0, 1, 1 half, and I'll move that down to the y axis right here at 0, 1, 0. Next, I'm going to draw the lines to connect these points. And as you can see, the plane is starting to take shape. So as you can see, this plane right here is actually a simple triangle plane, which we know how to solve. So now that this plane is in solvable format, we'll do the rest of the steps like usual. So now that this plane is in a solvable format, we will continue with the steps like usual. So the first step is to choose the origin, which we will place right here at 0, 0, 0. Now the next step will be to find the intercepts. So starting at our origin, we will travel along the x-axis until the plane intercepts it, which it does at 1. Now going back to our origin, we will travel along the y-axis until the plane intercepts it, which it does right here, at 1. And finally, we will go back to our origin and travel along the z-axis until the plane intercepts it, which it does at 1 half. Now the next step is to take the reciprocals of these intercepts. So we will take 1 over the x-intercept, which is 1, and that will equal 1. We will take 1 over the y-intercept, which is 1, and that will equal 1. And we will take 1 over the z-intercept, which is 1 half, and that will equal 2. Now the next step is to simplify these numbers to the smallest possible integer values. As you can see, 1, 1, and 2 are already at their smallest possible integer values, so we do not have to change the numbers at all for this step. Now the next step is to replace any negative signs with bars. Again, we can leave the numbers the same because there are no negative signs in front of them. Now for our final answer, we will add the round parentheses. So we will have open parentheses, 1, 1, 2, close parentheses, and that will be our final answer. Now we can solve for the bottom plane. Now for this plane, we do not have to translate it like we did to the plane above, but it is still a fairly challenging plane because most of the steps are involved. Now just like usual, we will uh, choose our origin. So we will pick the cube corner that is closest to the plane, and that will be right here at 0, 0, 1. Now to go along with this new origin, we will have a new set of axes. So we will have an x prime axis, a y prime axis, and a new z prime axis. Now the next step in solving for this plane is to find the intercepts. So we'll start at our new origin, and we will travel along the x prime axis until the plane intercepts it, which occurs right here at 1 half. Then we'll go back to our new origin and travel along the y prime axis until the plane intercepts it, which happens right here at 1 half. And finally, we will go back to our new origin and travel along the z-axis until the plane intercepts it, which will happen right down here at negative 1. Now our next step is to take the reciprocals of these numbers. So we will take 1 over the x prime intercept, which is 1 half, and that will be 2. We will take 1 over our y prime intercept, which is 1 half, and that will equal 2 as well. And we will take 1 over our z prime intercept, which is negative 1, and that will equal negative 1. Now our next step is to simplify these numbers to the smallest possible integer values. As you can see, 2, 2, and negative 1 
are already at their smallest possible integer values, so we do not need to change them for that step. Now our next step is to replace any negative signs with bars. So both twos will remain the same because we do not have negative signs, but negative one will become bar one. Now the final step is to add the round parentheses. So our answer will be open parentheses, two, two, bar one, close parentheses. And there you have it. That is how you find the indices of the plane. If you need any further help on this topic, make sure to visit our YouTube channel, Materials Concepts. Thanks for watching.